What is going on guys? So new video. This is a video you've all been waiting for. This is the install of the Bav sound system for the GP3. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna test out the stock sound system of the GP3 to the Bav sound sound system, which apparently is the best in the world for BMW slash mini. So let's test the stock factory sound system. We're at halfway right now. Actually, a little bit over halfway. That's max volume. So that being max volume, there's no distortion whatsoever, but it doesn't give you that oomph the GP3 doesn't have for weight savings. Here, we don't have the tweeters. We also have normal speakers here, and in the back we have the normal basic speakers, just one speaker on each side, and then here we have normal subwoofers. So you guys can be the judge of it. I know it's really hard to do it through video. Let's go ahead and listen to this. I have my treble all the way up and my bass midway. Reason I have that is because if I have my bass all the way up and I turn the sound all the way up, what happens is that it starts distorting and it doesn't sound very good. It sounds cheap to be honest with you. So that's it. All we have left now to do is install the bath sound sound system. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys my friend. He's always helped me in all of my cars, my previous John Cooper Works and the GP3. What's up guys? My name is Leandro and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the tools that you're gonna be needing in order to do this install. T10, T15, T20, T25, and a PH2. These are all, well these four are torque screws and this is just a regular star screw. And then right here we have a metal pry tool by Bath Sound. And let me tell you guys one thing about these metal pry tools. So inside of the car, basically 90% is plastic and metal and plastic does not go together. You have to be extremely careful when using a metal pry tool on plastic because you can scratch this extremely easy. What I recommend is using a plastic pry tool because plastic on plastic, you can't scratch it. The T50 Torx head screw, which I believe this is what is used in order to remove the screws for the seats to get to the subwoofers. And for that, we have this nice little extension, which comes to this ratchet right here and it says bath sound on it. So this is actually you know, some good quality ratchet. If you're in a tight spot, tiny little ratchet so you can get into tight corners. So you can just put this right on here and just ratchet it away. Now that we got all of the tools and we've explained what you need to do and how to be precautious about plastics on your car, let's go ahead and get it straight into the installation. Make sure you have your windows all the way down and why is that? So the problem is, is that if you have your windows all the way up, once you're installing the door panel or taking it off, you have more axis right here to get this seam right here because there are clips right underneath it so that you, when you're removing it you can just pop it out like this or when you're installing it you can actually see where the clips align to and you can just pop it in place all right guys so we're gonna start tearing down the door panel so the bit that you want to use is a t20 torx bit and the first thing that we're gonna do with the door panel is that there is two screws underneath this door panel there is one screw in the middle and one screw over here on the side corner. So you just wanna get the Torx C20 and unscrew them. Aside from that, this right here, this is a little cover that hides the screw that's behind this little cover. So you want to take your plastic pry tool and pry up against the corner of it and it just should pop right out. Like so. The other one that you want to pop out is this driver control for the windows. 
So it's just four clips holding it in place and you just have to pry it out with a plastic pry tool. Right here, there's a little connector on the back of this. This is like an L-shaped pull tab. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this gray little tab and you wanna pull it backwards. Like so. And then it just pops right out. Like that. Now, behind these two, if you can come a little bit closer, there is a screw right in this hole right here. And down there, that's a T20 screw that we're going to unscrew. There is another screw here that is again a T20. And this is the last screw for the door panel. Now that you got the final screw out, there is nothing else holding the door in place. This screw behind the door handle here, the screw underneath the window control switch and the two screws at the bottom is the only thing that holds the door in place. The only thing holding it in place are this little clip all alongside the door panel that has to be removed. Now, make sure you have someone holding the door in place because if you try to yank out the door panel, the door can shut closed. So my method of removing these clips, which is what I've done in many, many other cars, is that you wanna get this cuppy right here, grab it, grab the underside of it, and give it a nice, firm, and hard tug, like that. And then just go all the way alongside, like that. And now that you have the door panel somewhat out, you can go ahead and finish removing all these clips. Now that you have all of the clips freed up from the side of the door, there are some clips on the top of the door panel. This is why I told you guys to lower down the window. This will make it a lot easier to remove this door panel. So. What you want to do is grab the underside of the door and give it a nice firm tug upwards. Like that. And now the door panel should just come straight out. All right, so now that the door panel is out, you just want to carefully set it aside and don't disconnect anything because there is no need to actually disconnect the door panel from the actual door because everything that you need to access is right here in this little corner. This speaker right here is the speaker that we want to remove. This speaker is held by three T20 screws. Get your T20 screwdriver again and go ahead and just take it right on out. Now that we have the third screw uh, removed, just carefully remove the last screw, set it aside in a nice safe place, and now the door speaker is free to come right out. This door speaker is held up by this little cable, you can just pop it right out. And as you can see, there's only one cable attaching the speaker, so you just want to get the cable and give it a nice tug out. And it comes out just right that. Get the speaker, keep it in a safe place, and let's get the bath sound and install the bath sound system on this door. All right, I want your honest opinion. You saw them, but you didn't hold them. Or is this the right, or is this the left, or it doesn't matter? They're both the same, so it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, let me see these. All right, hold the door panel. All right, first impression, all right. Very high quality cone very high quality tweeter mesh very heavy compared to the original one I mean you can just see the difference I mean it's just night and day this has a tweeter in the middle this one doesn't this cone is I think it's Kevlar could be I could be wrong but this is a paper cone this is more towards like a plastic cone more high quality and it just weighs a lot more the magnet on the back it's a lot bigger and weighs a lot more so bear at the back let me get it to focus all right so yeah it's very heavy my honest opinion this looks really high quality so let's get it installed what you want to do is get your control module for your windows you just want to connect it power on the car but not 
don't turn it on and just roll up the window all the way back up so you're gonna have access to put your hand inside and route the wire through this little hole in the door get your brand new bath sound speaker and you want to get this wire and basically just run it behind this you want to go ahead and pull this little foam here down and you'll see that there is a hole right here where you can stick your fingers in through there and that's where you're gonna route this speaker wire through there all right so fish this wire right behind the door and then you're gonna fill it with your hands you're gonna grab the connector through the other side and what you just want to do is that you just want to pull it right through the door just get the connector and like that pull it right through the door and you're gonna pull this through the hole as well this little filter you're gonna pull this through the door as well like that and then you can just bring the speaker closer and closer and closer while you're pulling this wire and then it should just fit right on top of the factory bracket and now what you want to do is that you want to get your three screws and just mount it into place So now that you guys have all of these three screws in place and you guys have tightened it down but not too tight because you don't want to break this plastic right here, you just want to go ahead and you know fish it as much as you can out of it like so and just seal up the door panel right back again just like that. So for a test run what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect this to the door like so and I'm just gonna test out the speaker and see if it works. Now that we have all of these three screws installed, we have to hide this wire that it came with. So, right here where we took off the wire from the original one, we just want to loop it back and forth and we just want to press it inside so that we can have it tucked in like that and then we can get just a piece of tape and just put it over it so it doesn't go anywhere. And it doesn't rattle up against the door and then this just goes back inside how I originally went, just like that. All right, so now the next thing to do is to put the door panel back in place. And before you put the door panel back in place, please make sure to lower down the window again because it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to install this door panel without the window rolled down. We are now going to go ahead and install the door panel. This little thing, this little wire for the door release. This goes in this little bracket clip right here, so just make sure to you know, hold it in there and then just slowly bring the door panel to the door and make sure to get this aligned up with the hole so it feeds it through that like that you see these little clips these go inside of the door panel so you just want to make sure that they align up correctly and that they go in and then you just want to get the clips on the side of the door panels make sure that they align correctly as well and then just give it a nice push same thing for this side like so and now you have the door panel clipped into place get the screws install them put the cover and the door switch back in place And we're done. So now on to the subwoofers. All right, guys. So now that we have these speakers installed, we are going to go ahead and move on to the subwoofers, which are located under the seats. Now, in order to remove the seats, guys, don't be scared. It's only four screws that hold in the entire seat, and it just comes out simple as that. This door panel is harder than these seats. This right here is the tool that you can buy off of Bath Sound. This right here is a Torx T50 bit and a 3 8 extension. And then what you want to do is break loose all four bolts. Let me show you where they are. You see this is one bolt right here.
and this is how the bolt looks like you know it's just a standard t50 bolt and the other bolt is located right here and you can see just by removing these two screws this entire seat is already loose move this entire seat forward so just pull up on the lever and just move it all the way forward put this down and then you can see here at the back we have these screws here this one comes right out and the other one and last is right here Just like so and now the entire seat is free to move around we just want to move this seat back lift the seat up just a tiny bit and you see this connector right here you push this connector in flip this tab around comes right out before you guys remove the seats i want you to come here real quick because i have the seat upwards so you can see it in an angle and if you come down here we have perfect access to remove this panel which is where the subwoofer is located at so you don't even have to remove the seat out of the car you just have to position it so that it is tilted upwards and you can just get to these screws without having the risk of scratching one of these plastic panels let's get right into removing this so that we can get access to the subwoofer that's right beneath this girl this is the exact same t20 driver that we've been using all along so four screws simple extremely simple to take off just get it in place and just start taking off the screw simple as that and there we have the subwoofer all right guys so in order to remove the subwoofer it's held in by four t20 screws but you gotta pull back on the carpet just a tiny bit so you can expose these silver screws so just go ahead and get the t20 get it right in there and start unscrewing those t20 screws now these are a little bit different because these are silver so don't get them confused with the other ones All right, so now that you guys have all four screws out, this subwoofer can easily be removed. As you can see, it's very loose. So all you wanna do is just pull back on the subwoofer, pull it out, and as you can see over here, there's a connector. All you wanna do is pull out the connector, like that, and then this is the old subwoofer. So as you can see, this little tiny magnet is what's powering this entire subwoofer. No wonder there's no bass in this car. Now it's time to replace it with the bath sound. All right, now that we have the bath sound here, let's go ahead and open this box and let's take out this nice beauty. Damn. Wow. Now that's high quality. And bam. Now this is a subwoofer. Look at that magnet. Now that's a proper size magnet. And that is real metal. This is no plastic. This is actual metal. So first impression, this thing is heavy compared to this old one. This weighs less than a pound. This weighs a good three to four pounds. No joke. And the speaker is going to be protected. Unlike this one, the speaker is exposed. So now that we got this out, it's time to go ahead and install it in the car. So now that you guys have this installed, the subwoofer is pretty simple to install. Just follow the same procedure that you guys took it off. Just slide it in, place it on down. Now all you have to do is take these four screws, the silver ones, and go ahead and screw it right into place.
And now we're gonna go ahead and connect this just temporarily and make sure that the speaker is working completely fine. So now that we've connected this and verified that there is audio and the bass is on, we're gonna go ahead and tuck this wire. So what I figured that is, this is the best way is to get this wire and just tuck it underneath this carpet right here. And then this big block, tuck it underneath it as well. Like that. And it's like nothing ever happened. So we can go ahead and get this speaker grill, put it right on top of this again. And go ahead and screw this speaker grill right down. Make sure to get all of these four screws right back where they're supposed to go. And just go ahead and tighten all four screws and make sure that there is no bulge anywhere on the speaker grill itself. For example, this one, it's completely flat. It is a tight tolerance, so make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. All right. And now the last thing to do is to get this seat and put it back into place. So this connector, the same way that we took it out is the same way that we're gonna install it back in. So you just want to align it up to the holes, push it in, and then this little, little level right here, you push it to the left and it just snaps right into place and that's not going anywhere. So now that we have that, you just wanna go ahead and get your seat and just lower it down into place and go ahead and align it with the tracks and we'll go ahead and bolt it in place right now. All right guys, so now that we have the seat installed, everything is tightened back up and we just tested to see if the speakers are working. And yes, subwoofers and door panel speakers are working completely fine. Now, like I said, the other side, the passenger side, this is the exact same procedure as passenger side. The way you take out the seat, the way you take out the panel, same thing. So we will see you guys when these speakers have broken in because these speakers need a break-in period before we can experience the full potential of these speakers we're gonna go ahead and we are going to get both of our reactions to the bath sound sound system let's go ahead and let's get right into it all right here we go Compared to the original, the original four speakers that this car came with, this is a hundred times better. Yeah. It has so much more bass and the high ends are so more clear. Yeah. I mean, the original ones, I mean, there was absolutely no bass and the middle and high end, they were all muffled. I don't even know what else to say. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. Thank you again, Bath Sound. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like below, comment below. Have a good one, guys. Why? I can see you and your in the chrome of the car and your face looks like a bubble. Just remember to put this in a safe place and make sure that you uh, keep all the screws organized. Tug. <laughs> Hard tug. Alright.